diverse neighborhoods um, in our gut are really, really important because all these bacteria, 39 trillion bacteria, they all have different functions. One of them being lowering inflammation. Now, you know, inflammation is, is one of the important, like wound healing, it's a repair mechanism, it's supposed to be around for a very, very short period of time. But when you have inflammation that doesn't go away, like autoimmune diseases, where mm -hmm. your own immune system attacks your body, it sets off chronic inflammation. And that's one of the um, uh, causes of, of some forms of hair loss, mm -hmm. like Alicia Ariana, okay, where your own immune system, guess what, attacks those hair follicles. It attacks mm -hmm. The little seeds on your window uh, uh, pot, and guess what? It, it kills off the hair cells. Like that's a big shame, mm -hmm. right? Lots of inflammation with autoimmune disease. So when you eat foods, whether it's orange peel, whether it's a natural orange, which is filled with vitamin C, ascorbic acid, it's a super powerful anti-inflammatory bioactive mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, by itself. But when, but the dietary fiber will feed your gut. Your gut actually will lower the inflammation in your body and protect that hair follicle, for example. But it also protects all of your other organs as well. Mm -hmm. Protects the 60,000 miles worth of blood vessels in your body, protects your heart, your liver, your kidney, your spleen, your brain. Mm -hmm. We're beginning to realize that a lot of um, chronic illnesses, you know, whether you're talking about uh, like people who have chronic brain fog, mm -hmm. like Lyme disease or even long COVID, you know, these kinds of things, we're beginning to realize that, you know what, it's partly due to chronic inflammation in the brain. Mm 